excuse the wind, but we are going to sand it down first. Now we are going to cut it down to the right size. We got all the pieces. We actually did eight, so we can do two just in case we mess up somewhere. So now we're going to start gluing. Here's the glue we're using. So we got it all glued up and clamped together. Uh, we are going to wait till tomorrow now, and then we will take it over to the lathe and trim it down. any of that fancy stuff but um this is what it started as this is the product we got and someday we want to get it to that um but now i'm going to talk about it a little bit now i really think that looks like a bowling pin i think if anybody guessed they could guess that looks like a bowling pin um i really think it looks pretty good for the um first try um it's not perfect definitely not perfect um but the first try is definitely always the hardest and uh, is always the most different. And uh, so it is a little bit um, bigger than this. You can't really see it, but it doesn't fit in the pin setter. That is the bad thing. Now, I am not going to be using this pen. I do not want to damage it or anything because uh, it doesn't have any uh, armor, I guess you could say. Um, it would just get... Uh, all banged up and things so I'm not going to use it but um it is pretty cool I'll probably just put it up there on the top of the pin setter or something um it would be for decoration a little bit and um we did not put the bottom piece on or anything uh just because we can't find anything like that and this is not maple wood this is poplar uh, we do have some maple wood. If we do make uh, another one sometime, we will use the maple wood, but uh, this time we only used poplar, so it is about half the weight of that one. So yeah, it started out as the block of wood there you saw in the beginning, and then we uh, turned it down to a circle. Um, my grandpa actually did that. He's really good at that kind of stuff. And then um, me and him spent probably three and a half hours getting it down to this. It took a very long time trying to get it as precise as possible. We had a little template we would hold up to the piece of wood while it was on the lathe to see how far we needed to get in 
uh, other places to like dip down more or see how much we needed to take off in other places. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will not be putting the time lapse of the uh, trick shot out just because I was really excited to get this video out and honestly I don't think the time lapse would be very exciting. It's just me um, failing a bunch of times basically. So um, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry about my voice.